Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. Oh, I was say my real government name. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Anna. Welcome to my channel. This is my makeup channel, um, also known as my main channel. Um, I also have another channel where I just do regular videos that has nothing to do with makeup at all or hair, anything like that. So if you're interested in my channel, I will leave that link to it down below. But if you're new here, I hope you like this video and you, you know, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and leave a like and a comment down below. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a um, hair routine, how I install my clip-in hair extensions. Um, a lot of people have been wondering how I do this and I had to change up my routine because my hair is like really short now. I had to cut it because my hair was red and when your hair is red, it damages your hair like crazy. Um, if you hear any music in the background, that's a swing going. I had her in there, but she's fussy, so I put her with her dad. He's playing Xbox at the moment, so let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, so I got my um, flat iron heating up right now. So what you're going to need for this, you're going to need your flat iron, a paddle brush. This is my favorite brush I got from Sally. It's expensive, but I like it. Um, a rubber comb, because if you use like a regular comb, like a... um. I don't know, just a regular comb. This is a rubber comb. Anything that's like plastic or not rubber, um, it's gonna melt and the teeth is just gonna bend and everything because you know the heat. So I would suggest you get one of these. Um you could use a rat tail comb, but I don't really need one because I mean I I'm I've done this for like how many years? Five years. I mean I don't really need a a rat tail comb to resection my hair out and you're also going to need a um wide tooth brush well wide tooth comb excuse me i cannot talk today and i have a toothbrush because i'm going to be doing my edges it's been so long since i did my edges so i'm going to do that and you're also going to need a hair tie or a um butterfly clip and of course, you're also gonna need your hair extensions. I have this one from Irresistible Me. I've been using them since 2016. These are my favorite hair extensions. I use these all throughout high school. Um, I have the 20 inch, 200 grams because my hair is really thick and short. So, let's, my friend texts me. Sorry, my friend texts me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna take your hair down and you're gonna take your paddle brush and you're just gonna go in and brush your hair, get all the debris out and all the tangles, anything like that. Okay, so you see how short my hair is and it's really blunt. This is a blunt haircut, it's like a blunt bob kinda. So when if I just put my extensions in like the way it is now, it's not going to blend right here. You will see just big chunks and it's not going to really be blendable. It's going to be so noticeable and we don't want that. We want this to make, we want to make it look like our real hair as much as possible. You're going to take your hair, you're going to part behind your ears, kind of act like you're going to put your hair in a half up, half down. Okay. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, what you're going to need, crap. you're going to need some rubber bands. And some bobby pins. I need a lot. I think maybe like, you're really gonna need like two bobby pins and one rubber band. Now, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your rubber band and just put it on your finger and then you're gonna take your wide tooth comb and you're going to comb out any knots and tangles. I mean, I haven't flat around my hair in like a couple of days, so that's what I need to do. So you're going to, I'm going to braid my hair because I feel like braiding it is so much easier than just putting it in a ponytail or a bun. So I'm just going to divide it into three parts and I am just going to do a braid. I'm not making sure it's like perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that because it's going to be hidden. The thing is you just want it to be put up so that way your hair will be blendable. Okay, so you want to braid it all the way to the um the end because if you don't, even if you braid it just right here, it's, I feel like the hair is just going to stick up from the ends. So this is what my braid looks like. So you're going to take your bobby pins, your two bobby pins, and you are going to take it. And I always go in the direction how it braids. So if I go like braid up, I would go up this way. But since I'm going down, 
it's braided down, I'm going to go down with it because if you don't, it's going to be bulky right here. And when you brush, you know, your extensions, your hair, it's going to catch on to it and it's going to pull your extensions out and your braid. So you're just going to put a clip through the braid and then you're going to put another well, bobby pin on top of the first bobby pin to secure it. So once your hair is tied up, braided or whatever, you're going to take your extensions and I have two brands of hair extensions. One extensions from one set of extensions from irresistiblemecom and another set of extensions. Another I can't talk. Another set from my Beauty Mart because at the time my hair was like breaking and stuff like that. It was I just like really thick hair. So I just got like a bunch of extensions to make my hair really thick. So and some of them are blonde because it was blonde before and I went ahead and colored it. So ignore the blonde at the top, girl, I don't care. So you're gonna take your uh, Y2 comb and you're just gonna comb it. Always comb from the bottom and work your way up. This is one of my older clip-ins, you can kind of tell. So you're gonna take your clip-in, the two, two clip, and always go like under the braid a little bit. I'm gonna take my three clip. Biggest piece is the heaviest piece I have. Um, this is my four clip and it's really, really thick. It like puts some weight to my hair. But this is right here is what's gonna make your hair extensions really, really thick, which I love. I love my hair to look thick and voluminous. I'm just extra. Just gonna pull my hair to the front. See how much thicker it looks already. Then I'm going to take, this is not it, it's just going to be another hair extension from the Beauty Mart, <laughs> you know, I don't care. So I'm going to take my comb and comb it out. This is a four clip one, but it's not as thick. Cause like I said, it's a different brand. And I'm going to just put it right over, right below, or right above the um, last clip. Okay, so now you're, see, like if you was to have your regular hair down, you know, if I wasn't to braid my, uh, all this, the bottom part, and just put the clips in, you would have like chunks of like your real hair. All this is extensions. So it looks like my hair is just in a half up, half down in a bun, and all this is my real hair. If you hear that noise, it's Devin in the shower. I'm just going to take my hair down. So I'm going to take my, uh, my comb. I'm just going to comb it. And I'm going to um, flat iron it. I always flat iron my real hair first. Because I just want the, the smooth look. And I feel like you'll have a smoother look when you use the comb. And do the chase method. It would just look so much smoother. And a good thing about this, when you do this method, you can even use this method if you have long hair. If you don't want to put so much heat on your hair, um, you can just braid your hair up, like your, your back hair. You can braid it up. And then just put the clips in. And you won't have to worry about, you know, heat damage. Now that we're moving, we're done with the, um, the three clip wefts. I'm going to start working on my sides. I always put more clips on this side because it's my bang area. My bang area is like a little bit more thicker than this side. This side is just, it just goes kind of down. So I'm going to untie my hair. I'm going to pull it to the side. I'm going to take my brush and brush all of my hair to this side so I can get even distribution. So I'm going to Part my hair on the side. So I'm just gonna clip right here. Ignore the blonde, like I said. <coughs> Girl. Let's put the clip in. I don't tease my hair, I used to. 
to put my before I put my extension so it'll hold more. I feel like you don't have to necessarily do that because it holds just as well. And knowing that if you tease your hair after a while, it will start to damage your hair too. So again, I'm redo that part. Okay. You, the secret is you want to have a good, even, clean section because if you don't, it's not going to be blending as well. You're not really going to know where you put your clip in. And then when you try to repart for another section, you might run into a track. Clip it. I'm not going to go as close as I did the first time because I was a little close. And it should look like this. I hope this is making a lot of sense. I mean, I've watched some tutorials on people doing this and it seemed like they wasn't like really explaining in detail. So I'm trying to go in detail as much as I possibly can with this. And you want to flat iron as close as possible to the uh, the front. When you get to the front, you wanna flat iron as much as you can right here. I'm gonna go to the salon and get my hair cut again. But with this quarantine or quarantine, whatever it's called, we ain't gonna be doing that for a while, so. I do not know when that will be. And I'm going to put it in right here as well. And you don't want to clip too far back, you know, like start clipping here and then go all the way back. Because when you do, when you pull your hair, you know, part your hair into like however you're doing it. I'm parting my hair into a side part. So if you do it like that, that's when you're going to see the tracks in the back from the front. And it's not going to look cute at all. You do not want that. See how it just kind of blends a little bit more? See how it's like the jet black and it goes into a light brown because I feel like that's how it should look. It'll look better if you do it like that. I know I put in a lot of hair extensions and the more, honestly, the more extensions you put in your hair, the harder it is for it to blend out. Because growing up, my hair has always been really long and thick. So it's just kind of weird for me to not have that type of look. So I'm not putting any more clip-ins on this side. What I'm doing right now, I'm just taking little bitty pieces as I go by, as if I'm adding clip-ins, but I'm not. And I'm just going to straighten it because I feel like, not I feel like, actually, whenever you do this, Meth, especially when you have naturally curly hair like I do. This is how you want to flat iron your hair so your your hair will look more silk, more silky and more straight. And I just kind of go over it one time. You don't want to go over it any more times because, you, like I said, you're working towards the front of your hair. And it tends to be more damaged. You want to try to get it as flat as possible. You're really supposed to use heat protectant before you do this, but I didn't. So, yeah, my hair's going to be a little damaged after this. Don't follow my footsteps, you guys. Please use heat protectant. <laughs> Seriously. Oops, my hair slapped back in my freaking face. Now when I get closer, I always kind of flip my hair a little bit to give it like that feathered look. Because my hair is really short, so it'll just look like I have bangs. So now this hair into the back right here, it's going to go down. That's why you're not supposed to put the clips so far back because if you do, it's going to have the clip showing 
and your back when it's really one of your clips in the front. I'm just gonna take it, I'm just kinda. Not go straight with it, but kinda curve a little bit. I'm just gonna comb that out. This is my last piece of hair that I am uh, straightening. And then I'm going to go over on my other side and add my extensions. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to do get out a small part like about this. A bit over there. Okay. And now I'm going to use my clip. I'm just going to wrap it like this. And put my clip here because it's the only time I can use my clip because I don't want to put a scrunchie there. <laughs> I don't know why. So I'm going to comb. Should look like this. So you want to use the wire ones as you go up. Just like that. And you want to flatter on this part because this is the hair that goes over the clips. Okay, so now you can just take your comb and repart if you want to. See, like right here, how it's looking like this. I can take my um, rat tail comb. And I can straighten that out. See how it's look a lot cleaner. Now I'm just going to. I'm gonna take your paddle brush and you're gonna brush your hair. Okay, so if you want to, um, I always kind of pull my hair to the back a little bit. But if you want to, you can add a clip, which I don't. That's what the little one clips are for. You can just put it in little places where you feel like you need it, really. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. So what you can do, you can style your bangs, you know, however you want. Let's kind of leave it like this. Um, you can hair, you can even put like hairspray to kind of hold it a little bit, curl it. My hair was was it was curled. It's been holding. These clip-ins has been holding um, the curls for like a couple days now. So this is what it looks like. It's not like really curly. It's more wavy now. So this is what they look like. This is the 20-inch uh, um, natural black. I just take some uh, edge control and old toothbrush. It was actually brand new, but I use this just for edge control. And... I am just going to 
this to make my hair look, oh, I guess, fresher. I don't know. I'm just going to sweep my hair. Just right there at the front. Well, um, let me close this. So, yeah, that is it for this tutorial. This is how it looks. It just blends in seamlessly. Um, I will leave a link to their uh, website on where you can buy these hair extensions down below. Uh, they're having a sale right now. I think it's what kind of sale. I forgot what, what's the holiday? What holiday is it right now? April Fool's? I mean, that was the first. Hell, I don't remember. But um, I will leave a link to their website down below in the description where you can check out, you know, buy their extensions because the extensions are so good. I had a pair that lasted three or four years. Be sure you like and comment and subscribe on this video and I'll leave a link to my other channel down below in the description. Please be sure you check it out and show me support and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a video on my channel tomorrow, my second channel tomorrow. Bye guys.